Hi everybody, it's Megan here from Scrapbooks by Design. This year Easter falls in April, so I thought I would do some Easter art for my CD calendar this month. I used the new Lawn Fawn inks, uh, Sunflower, Wild Rose, and Mermaid. And for my background, I thought it would be fun to choose some paper from the Let's Pokemon a Me 6x6 Petite Paper Pack. I used the brown with the little white hearts there. I used a stamp set from Lawn Fawn's latest release, Extra Special Easter. I used four of the stamps from this set. And of course I used the coordinating dies because it just makes it so much easier to cut out. And I used the new stitched square dies. I got both the large and the small and those are the two that I'm going to use for this artwork. And here are the Copics I'm going to use, and you can see that my Wink of Stella is in there too. So here's the extra special Easter stamp set. I picked out the basket image to stamp first. I always like to do a test stamp when I get a new stamp set to see if it inks up correctly. So I just have a piece of scratch paper there, and I'm inking up the stamp with Lawn Fawn's Black Licorice ink, which I just love. I'm trying to show you there that you can see I didn't get a very good coverage. I stamp it out and look at it and realize, wow, it's not very good. So I'm going to clean it off quickly. Then I'm going to grab an emery board. Oh, I like to dry it off too. Then I'm going to get my emery board that I got at a dollar store and lay the stamp flat on the block and just lightly go over the stamp, taking off any kind of residue that might be on there. It's good with, to have a really light touch when you're doing this. I'll clean it off again and then dry it off again on my paper so that I don't bring any wet baby wipe stuff to my stamp pad. And I just stamp it a few times on the stamp pad and you'll see there, I'm going to hold it up. Look at how perfect coverage it is. It's like magic. Off camera, I cut some squares from the stitched square dies using some watercolor paper. I'm going to use those three colors of the new Lawn Fawn inks. And the first thing I'm going to do is to saturate the paper with some water. This will allow me to kind of go with a bit more random color scheme. So I dab the stamp pad on a clear acrylic block, a clean one of course, and then just bring it over to the watercolor paper. And wherever I saturated the paper, that's where the ink goes. I really like this look. So that's the big pink one. Then I did yellow. Same thing, saturated the watercolor paper first, then went over and picked up some color from the block and dabbed it on. Once these dry, I actually like to go back and do a second coating if I want a really vibrant color which I did for this, so I actually did that off camera. And there's my third block for my mermaid ink. Just saturating the paper. Now bringing over some of that pretty teal color. Another thing I like to do when I get a new stamp set is to stamp out a few copies of each of the image on a big piece of Copic friendly cardstock. Here you can see that I stamp them and then die cut them. That's the way I like to do it. And then I put them all in a bowl and that way if I make a mistake I've got lots more or another few then to go back and work with. So these are the images I'm going to use for my calendar. And here are the Copic colors I'm going to use. I'm going to put on a bit of music for you to watch while I color. See you in a few.
kind of flat. So I just went into my little bowl there and grabbed another basket, pre-stamped basket image, and colored the bow again. I'm glad that I did color the first bow red anyway because it will show a little bit underneath this because I'm going to pop it up with some foam tape. Fussy cutting is not my favorite thing to do, but this is a case when I really had to do it. Whenever I fussy cut an image, I always like to use my memento marker and go around the out side so that it covers up the white portion so that it looks like I did a perfect cutting job when we all know I didn't do a perfect cutting job. It's just a nice finishing touch. I used a small foam square from Scrapbook Adhesive and I cut down even a half of a half to put it in the center back of the bow so that I could pop it up on the basket. Now it's time to put all the pieces of the April CD calendar page together. Off camera I cut a four and an eighth by a two and an eighth inch piece of the little white heart with the brown background and now I'm just laying I haven't adhered anything I'm just laying my squares on there to see if I can find a placement that I like and I decide that I'll just adhere everything now on those little squares so for the eggs I adhered two flat and then the little solid chocolate egg there I adhered with a bit of foam tape for the uh, split open jelly bean eggs, I just adhered that flat to the square. And for the basket, again, I just adhered it flat to the square. Now I'm messing around a little bit more, trying to find the exact perfect placement. I used a strong adhesive on the back of the watercolor squares because they warped a little bit when they were drying. So I like to use lots of strong adhesive. And I'm moving those little squares around again to try to find the exact perfect placement. I adhered the square on the left with some foam tape and the other small square. I just used a lot of good adhesive as well to make sure that it laid flat. I thought it might be fun to add some glossy accents to certain parts of this. I did add glossy accents to the small chocolate egg and then to the little jelly beans on the square on the left and to the eggs in the basket. But of course I had to do Wink of Stella first so they were actually sparkly and shiny. It was actually kind of fun. The only hard part about glossy accents is waiting for it to dry. And there it is. It's actually not dry the glossy accents yet but you'll see that in the next photo. Here's the final product, placed in the CD case, all ready for April 1st. I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step video showing you how I created the April page for my CD calendar case. If you would like more information about the products I used, please head over to the Scrapbooks by Design blog at blog.scrapbooksbydesign.ca. I'll be back next month with another fun project. See you then!